live from the AshleyMadison.com studios. This is the Artie Lang Show. I am Mike Calta along with Robert Kelly and Kay Adams. And we're filling in for Artie, who I believe will be back live with you on Friday. I'm very excited to be sitting next to Kay Adams. And, <laughs> and the, the next to me. Almost as lovely uh, Sebastian Bach is here. How are you, brother? Hello. How are you guys doing? Uh, let's get right to this now that you played that coming back in. Uh, that was, uh, what was, what was his name? Velvet Revolver. Were you up for that, like everybody else claims to be? That everybody, yes. Everybody's got a story. The Buck Cherry guy, all these guys at one point. That seems like you and Slash. Like, that would have been a great fit. Well, what, talk about a segue, because on my new record, uh-huh. on the bass player's Duff McKagan, oh, really? who is also from that band, Velvet Revolver. Right. Um, but, uh, yes, I actually recorded five songs in the studio with those guys. With those, those guys? guys. But I was busy at the time playing Jesus Christ in uh, Jesus Christ Superstar right. on Broadway, um, which brings me to one of my favorite reviews I ever got. Oh, is it not good? Which was, you look uh, kind of like uh, a New Orleans. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, the first line was just the simple fact alone that Sebastian Bach is playing the role of Jesus Christ could be the first true sign of the oncoming apocalypse. <laughs> that's great. I get that frame. I cut that one out. Yeah. I was like, wow, man, that's that's pretty heavy. But <laughs> couldn't, it couldn't have been too bad. I mean, you went on to do Broadway. Well, after. show business yeah. is funny. You know, they, they, saw, they saw me on Broadway in Jekyll and Hyde, and they go, he's a good actor. He can play Jesus. I go... Uh. I wasn't really acting. Right. <laughs> Just singing up. No, Dr. Jekyll's oh, a nice guy. Right. Mr. Hyde is a murderer. Um, there's the plot. Um, it's a, it, <laughs> you are everything I wanted you to do. <laughs> everything since hey, I started listening to monkey business. I was slipping on my back. Oh, oh, oh my. You, uh, oh, so I, I'm just you. glad that you're here and you're all the way oh, over there. I'm well, so glad. Like Artie Lang's not here. We're on the Artie Lang show and Artie's not here. I yeah. love the Artie Lang show, by the way. And who's his partner, right? Uh, John Rich. John. John. So when Artie gets sick, does John get sick? Yes. Like, why is he not here? Because they had mono and they were making out with each other and they passed it back and forth. But good luck to both of them coming back on Friday. Listen to me. I guarantee you that I'm more excited to have you here than Artie would have been anyway. No, I Artie have, would be like, Lend the Vins, get I up. Have, this is some, uh, Sebastian Bonk. Uh, well, you, you know doing? I'm in his book. And I, that's hear, his I know. Dry, I wrote you in my driver. book. I wrote you in my but book. But I have to share my Artie Lang story. This yes, please I have, do. I have an in-depth story. We're all familiar with Baba Bowie's baseball pitch, yes. right? Well, guess what I own in my possession? I was standing right behind home plate. I sang the national anthem. That day? That at day. the Mets game? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So I did that. Then there was all this craziness with Artie Lang and Baba Booey. It was insanity. And um, I filmed. I have that on film, like, perfect HD quality of him missing it. Missing the pitch and everybody for, him for those and people who don't know, then, there's missing it and then there's doing what Gary did right. and throw it like a, yes. a, a girl from the short bus the yes. wrong way. Yeah, hey it now. was terrible. But I, I, I have this all on video, and then afterwards I have Artie and Baba Booey, everybody arguing and yelling. But I was mad at Artie, and I'll tell you why. Why? Why is let, Artie? I, let me get into this story. This is a heavy story. So I read Artie's book. Okay. Too Fat to Fish? Yeah, the first yeah. book. And I loved that book. And I'll tell you why. The first the first chapter he talks about his dad hit me super fucking yeah. oh, well, super, <laughs> super hard. <laughs> That's my the dad, one, the first dad. dump for Sebastian Bach. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, but, yeah, but you're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. I, get, I get emotional. That's who I am. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but that really hit me yeah. like a punch in the face. Right. And I get excited sometimes, and I don't, uh, I don't censor myself sometimes. So I just saw Artie Lang on the baseball field, right? And I didn't think anything because I literally just read the book, and I just ran up to him and said, "I love your book, man! I love your book!" And he's like, "Thanks, man!" And I go, 
Do you want to smoke some weed or what? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, uh, he goes, ah. Uh, and I go, what? And I, I, I wasn't looking around or anything. So the next day on Howard Stern, <laughs> the next day on Howard Stern, I yeah. put it on. And he's like, oh, my God, I saw Sebastian Bach yesterday. It was the worst thing ever. I was surrounded by kids. And, <laughs> and, he, asked, and he asked me to smoke some weed. <laughs> and, and I was standing with, like, the March of Dimes Easter children. <laughs> and Sebastian. Oh and I was like... And I'm listening to this, and I was, at the moment I was listening to this, I was smoking some kick-ass weed. And I kind of went, the whole Howard Stern show right now is talking about me smoking weed. As you're smoking weed. And I go, the cops are coming. I'm going to get rid of this. I went out into the woods, and I threw away all my weed. And the whole time I was going, Artie Link, Artie Link, why? Artie, why are you You rat? You ratted you out. Why are you saying this on the radio? You loved his book. (laughs) And then I was like, Artie Lang, man, jeez. So I didn't give him the footage, but it's okay. Um, Everything's cool. (laughs) Let bygones be, be, be bygones. I will give Artie the footage. It's insane footage. <laughs> From behind. Just don't homeboy. rat me out to the cops. Thank you, you Artie. You live in California. Yeah, Are you allowed legal. to smoke weed? Yes. So what do you... You smoked so much weed, you no. freaked yourself out. This was a long time ago. No. So you're yeah. saying you don't smoke weed now? Um, not at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sebastian Bach is here with us. Where are you playing? I know you I'm got I'm playing a- tomorrow night in New York City. BB Kings, then New Jersey, Starland, then the next night in. Um, you were Portland. Colum- P- Portland, Maine, and then Columbia, Maryland. And uh, and your your guitar player is from where I'm from. I'm from Tampa. Yes, Johnny, Johnny. Chromatic. Yeah. Yes. How do you hook up with that guy? Um, that guy used to play Green Iguana. He used to play like uh, Wednesday night two for one drink nights with his cover band. <laughs> now he's playing with Sebastian Bach. Who's the who's the dummy now? <laughs> yeah, Sebastian Bach. <laughs> Good for him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great singer. Yeah, yeah, he that's what I'm saying. He's a good singer. And... Singer and these Skid Row records that everybody listens to are not easy to sing. <laughs> no, not as time it's goes like, on, right? It's like let's do the most in, in, insane thing you could ever think of. Can I ask and, you? And, uh, let me ask you yeah. a, a difficult question if you can. I, I I'm friends with Scotty Hill, and mm-hmm. those guys never say anything bad about you. When I, I've had them on the show, and I'm sure in, in the past maybe they have, but now they don't say anything bad about you. All these bands that reunite and they come together. I mean, look at some of these bands still hate each other and they come together just for the money. But you guys must really hate each other. You're like, we'd rather not have a reunion tour or any of that no, nonsense. I, I don't put me. The, no, no I, don't. I don't hate any of those guys. Um, None of them. I, I have the number one hard rock album on iTunes of the top 200 albums right now, today, at this moment. I don't hate anybody. I am rocking like a big dog. Yes. So you're. So what? I, so <laughs> if what those guys want to rock with me, let's, you would be let's open rock. to it. You would be open to it. If yeah. they called you up and they said, uh, "Listen, we know you're successful. We know you got Give 'Em Hell. You got this new album that's mm-hmm. doing great. Duff McKagan is on it. Mm-hmm. But uh, we realized from a business point of view, it would be good for us to do a Skid Row reunion. You wouldn't be the one to hold that up. No, we have been offered. Lots of cash. Yeah. So why not do it? Because I, I guess they don't like cash. So it's, so I, 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 look, this is good I, to know. I, I, I I've been on Broadway productions. I don't. I'm not best buddies with all seventy people. Like I, I go up there. I sing. You're playing bass. Okay, cool. You're playing bass. Right. It's it's what I've been doing for thirty years. Right. So I don't understand. So you don't care. You would. No, I, that's good I, to know. And you don't. If people are like when one some, of them's... when somebody offers me like you know a half a million dollars. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna say no thanks. Uh, I don't feel like that. You keep it all to yourself. You know we do get big huge offers, but for some reason they don't. They couldn't. Do they're it. not into it. Do you? I know. I know. We were talking a little bit about this off the air, and I know you weird because uh, you and Axel have always been kind of tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, I remember reading as a kid. I was a big fan. I saw. I saw Skid Row at Giant Stadium with Bon Jovi. I saw you guys a ton of times afterwards, mm-hmm. and uh, and I used to read articles in Rip Magazine of you and Axel doing interviews <laughs> together. You guys were tight. Yep. And you know, as just as a fan of Guns N' Roses, how huge that would be. Yeah. And and uh, yet the same thing. It's not the money. It's not. It's something. Some sort of hatred there will just keep people apart forever. I don't think it's a hatred. I think it's the same passion. 
Ah, the sounds of New York City in the back. Yes. <laughs> Ambiance. Yeah. It's the same passion that goes into, like, Axel singing um, Sweet Child of Mine and Slash playing it on the guitar. You can feel their emotions. Right. And the emotions sometimes are not controllable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people say... Uh, you know, talk about Ozzy Osbourne. He sounds like like crazy, right? Right. Well, it's because he's crazy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stretch. I mean, when you listen to him sing, you go, "That doesn't sound like another guy singing a song." Right. You know, there's something. I don't. I, I'm just. I would like to, as a selfish fan, think that would be great. I would mm-hmm. pay. I would pay uh, twenty dollars to see you do this. I would pay twenty dollars to them, and I'd pay a hundred dollars to see you do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's just a ton of people out there that would do that. So I, love to know. that. I love it. I'll stick it right in their faces next time I have them. When I go, hey, I hung out with Sebastian. He said he would do it, and he doesn't care about you guys. You do it for the money if you had to. <laughs> well, I, I got 60 shows booked this summer, and uh, I'm going to be singing all of those songs. So. Well, it doesn't. I, I, so I, I, and, like, at want, your shows, you sing the Skid Row song, too? It depends on the set time. Right. Like, uh, if I'm playing a festival in France in front of 70,000 people, oh, it's going to be the hit songs yeah right you know i want to touch as many as, as people in the crowd as i can but wow. uh, is that the most people you've, you've ever played in front of seventy thousand? no no no, no played uh, wembley it, well russia oh, yeah. in wow. uh, 1989 uh moscow wow. we we did like a hundred thousand a night um john lennon stadium yeah. no other lennon what? No, Lennon. the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he didn't so have a stadium in Russia. <laughs> Something tells me Sebastian did not get an A in history. Uh, John and that, Lennon Stadium. So glad. <laughs> and how is that? That was the whole uh, anti-drug thing, and you guys were all wasted. Well, anyway. Yeah, it was the whole anti-drug thing, and it was every band that was big at the time on one plane. All for what? To bail yeah. Doc McGee out, right? It was Bon Jovi, Scorpions, Motley Crue, Skid Row. Ozzy Osbourne, yeah. Cinderella, all on one plane. All I can say is thank God we didn't fly Malaysian Air. Yeah. <laughs> because that would have been Because Aquanet like... would have went out of business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. I'm surprised I mean, with all that. Can you imagine? Where, where'd the whole music industry go? We can't find them. Oh. What? We've got pings. What? No. Oh, well. You know that they, you know there were They're guys all hiding out in Afghanistan in a hangar somewhere. Oh, oh, Aussies so in charge. Boy. There's an <laughs> island somewhere, <laughs> and they yeah. just make them play hairband stuff all the time. <laughs> you want to eat? Sebastian, <laughs> start playing. Can you imagine if Instagram and Vine existed on that plane? Oh. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh god. Uh, Sebastian Bach is here with us on the Artie Lang Show. Eight 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 nine three six eighty eight twenty two. When we come back, I want to talk more about this album. It's called Give Him Hell. It's doing great. Bad situation for, we were talking about this uh, before the show, for rock bands and rock music. The way radio is today, you can be as great now as you were then. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's tra- it, the traditional way of introducing music to people. I know the well, internet be, probably makes it easier. To be specific, what's frustrating is a station will play, you know, Skid Row or Motley Crue all day right. for 20 years, but then they won't play a new song. Right. But then the new station won't play the new song because you're on the old station. There's no play, There's no yeah, place for you. It. Well, I got one word for you, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> but that's the thing. Don't you think, I talked to Tommy Lee one time. And yeah, I they said, won't play a new Crue song, right. but they won't stop playing the old Crue song. And Molly Crue yeah. made new good music as well. They yeah. were making songs that, you know, sometimes new bands, old bands mm-hmm. make a new album, and you're like, okay. Yeah. But they were making good, uh, typical Crue stuff, mm-hmm. and it's hard to get the airplay. But with the internet, you can just put that stuff out there, and yeah. we're like, we don't need you anymore. I got a million people on my Facebook page that, you know, I don't, I don't, it doesn't hurt my feelings when a radio station doesn't. We Play come, me. I don't when really we come care. back, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you a question that I want you to seriously think. I've mm-hmm. asked this to, to Bon Jovi. I've asked this to, to Motley Crue. Uh, you've been to continents, different continents, and played. If you had to give me a square figure of how many, don't say until we come back. How many women you think you've had sex with? Think about it. Don't rush out an answer right now. One. Uh, no, that's a look at me. At Where's least. that camera? He's lying. He's like absolutely that lying. <laughs> it's good a good. Man. You aren't you single good now? Or no, you're not no, married I'm not anymore. Single. You're not married. I'm in love. Huh? Yes, You're in love? How long have you been in love with this girl? Uh, about three, four years. Oh, wow. so you might really be in love. No, I am really in love. Because I got to yeah. tell you, in a very non-gay way, you're still pretty good looking. I mean, you still got to yeah. Seriously, <laughs> you got to admit. Tell her that. Sebastian, in 1988, I could squint. 
and finish one off while you were on TV without knowing. I was, you you looked like a, you look like an adorable Whoa. woman back then. Listen to me. When we come back, we're gonna get a round answer, a, on, a real answer. Woman. Yo, that was With my tats- dream. Yeah, it sounds like what, the one like Jim tall, Norton would pay for. Tall, skinny blonde. <laughs> That's what you like. Who could scream at me if they had to? Uh, Wait, where's those twins walking around? Oh, please! Oh, I got no chance in that. Uh, when we come back, Sebastian Mock will tell us that, and I want to also talk about uh, uh, your brother Zach, okay. who, I, who I've talked about before, and how how. I bet you your parents were worried as hell about both of you, and both of you end up being successful. Yes. Uh, we'll come back more with Sebastian Bach. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.